Hello everyone, this is Inayat Meer. In implementing storage spaces, part 1, we have created a storage space, we added 5 disks and we created a 3-way mirrored. And we are going to proceed with part 2 with a lot of details about this storage video. Now we are going to go in a very high level overview of implementing storage spaces. This is my second continuous part from part 1 to part 2. Enabling and configuring storage tiering is the topic at this time. So we are going to use PowerShell. I am going to place my commands as well right over the screen. So you always can take a look on these all commands while I am typing these commands on the screen. Plus, I will go ahead and uh, under description add these all commands as well. So you can simply can go and copy. So we used a C-A-N-P-O-O-L. So uh, this is a command from the PowerShell. So we are going to create a new storage pool from the command line. Then we're going to use another command after creating this storage pool. So that will basically going to provide a, a friendly name uh, for this storage pool. I am going to add the command right on the screen. So you easily can copy that command and you can take a look this command again uh, as i said before i am going to add these all commands under this description of this video so you can use these commands and get the concept so you can combine video one and video two because i did not want to have a long video so i broke this topic in two different parts. So this is a long command for a new storage pool with a friendly name which is a tiered storage pool and a subsystem friendly name Windows Storage and physical disk is a CAN pool. So create a new storage pool. So if you type correctly these all commands should work appropriately if there is any issue with that, you always can contact me, review this part, review first part and you will be fine. So now we are going to run a PowerShell script. This script will configure the disk name. So we are going to use this name for the next part of this video. So I am going to add this note as well. And uh, you always can go ahead and uh, look at the script by right clicking on the script and uh, selecting edit option. I will show you in a while. So you can take a look on that script. So this script is available already under my D drive, we directly can run the script and we also can take a look on the script. We always can type that code on the script, but you already have that script. So you have a convenience way to run the script. Always you can review the script codes. Simply right click on the script, click on edit, it will go into uh, PowerShell ISE mode, integrated scripting environment. That is where you will be able to see the code. So moving on to view the media types. So this command we just went through you can see on the screen that will let you view the media type then we're gonna specify the media type for the sample disks 
and we will verify that the media media type is changed so just keep a track on this info i am just trying to show you uh, the codes of this script as i said before you simply can go ahead and look at the codes and this will automatically open up a powershell ise integrated scripting environment where you can take a look at script so we gonna run couple of more powershell commands and i am going to add every single command for your convenience so i am on my hello and svr one host computer you can see the name on the top and you also can see the command on the top and the action we are performing at the bottom of the screen so we are specifying a media type for the sample disks and we are verifying that the media type is changed through the powershell and we are looking this media type uh we are going to run this command for the ssd for physical disk 1 and for hdd like a solid state drive and hard disk drive for disk 2 same command we are going to run again but i am going to change hdd from ssd and i am going to change a physical disk 2 from physical disk 1 so in this way i do not have to type all over again simply just to show you that i am going to use previous command you can use up arrow to bring that command back and now we're going to look for get physical disk command the third one we are going to select friendly name media type usage buzz type that is the command i am pasting at the bottom of this screen so these commands we just ran three commands to specify the media type for a sample disks and to verify that the media type is changed so this is the output you simply can take a look for ssd and for hdd virtual hds hard drive hard drives or physical disk 2 disk 1 you can see all of them right there now we are going to create a pool level storage tiers from the powershell and that is the command i am going to use and you will see the output right on the screen you always can pause the screen and take a look the result of these commands and this was the hdd now we can repeat the same command with ssd so i just going to paste the command right there for you in the white background and blue writing but i'm going to type back that command sometimes i do this offline so you don't have to watch same steps again and same command while i'm typing so simply you got the idea i'm going to change only this command replacing hdd with a ssd but you will see these all commands 
so you can always create these steps. So creating a new virtual disk with storage tiering by using the new virtual disk visit that is my next topic from the server one. So I just refreshed my server manager where you see the work I just have completed. So now we have a tiered storage pool. In part one we had a storage pool one where I did a, a three-way mirrored visit. So these are my virtual disks here you can create from here this new virtual disk storage theory that's the one we are doing right now so we got to give them a name tiered work disk that's the name I am providing, V-I-R-T, like a virtual disk, just a short name. Enclosure, resiliency page, just let it go as it is. On simple, you always can pause and read the info under simple and under mirror. So we're gonna choose a simple option for storage layout and we are going to use the default option for now. which was fixed, size 2 gigabyte each, I am pasting the node also, clear the enable read cache checkbox before you click on next if you see that, and next step. you may or may not see it now we can create and close so we're gonna see this checkbox create a volume when this visit closes is checked so because we're gonna continue with the visit so always we're gonna click on next on before you begin Tiered word disk is the one we're gonna select and click on next. We're gonna leave the default size, which is approximately 3.9, something like a 4 gigabyte. And we are going to assign a drive letter in this step to R as in Robert and we are going to click next so refs you may see or may not see if you don't see refs you can leave as it is with ntfs so we don't see refs so i'm gonna use a tiered volume as a label then you can click on next and then you choose create just make sure all info what you provided is good and create 
then you can click on close once you're done. So let's test the properties of the virtual disk we just created. and look at the info storage tiered capacity allocated space and pool space look at the health viewing storage layout details see you in my next video so this was a part two of my storage pool video for windows server 2016 and stay tuned for my other new videos this is the all info what we know that we just have created this all and thank you for watching this video this is my email always you are welcome to email me And I'll see you in my next 2016 video. Thank you.